I want to talk to you about turnkey real estate, folks. I want to talk to you about how I've reimagined it. I want to talk to you about how I've flipped it. I want to talk to you about how I do it different and, in my humble opinion, better. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show, my guy Leo, out-of-state investor, all right? And he, like many of you, wants to do deals out of state. Why? Lives in a market that's expensive, right? Why? Lives in a market where the landlord-tenant laws aren't too landlord-friendly, right? I'm sure that story resonates with pretty much everybody who's trying to do turnkey real estate, right? And Leo, I got a good deal for you today. And I just want to explain to everybody why I'm different, why I do things better, why turnkey, as you know it, ain't as good as this. What I could do for you, Leo, is I could find a distressed property, I could buy it at a huge discount. I could rehab it, capture all that equity, put a tenant in there, and then sell it to you at market value. I could do that. And then I could do property management after. People be like, yeah, man, that's what I'm looking for, dude. I live in an expensive market. That's what I need. Is it what you need, though, people? Is it really what you need? If you peel back the curtain on that, I captured all that equity up front when I bought it distressed, right? And then I didn't sell it to you at a, like a... A price that's any less than the most I could possibly get for it, right? Why would I do that? It's my property. I invested money into it, right? Every dollar I make is a dollar you lose. Every dollar you make is a dollar I lose. So why would I give you a discount? I wouldn't, right? So if you think about it, we're not really on the same team, are we? No. It's like you're buying a, a property from a used car salesman, right? I don't think very many people like used car salesmen, do they? So what I've done, folks, is I've built a platform where we align our interests, and I work for you on your behalf, and that's what this show is. Leo has hired me to find him properties on the market, and then me and Leo, mano we mano, we go at those sellers, we fuck them up because we try to get you guys the deals. I'm trying to find the best possible deals for you. I don't own these deals. I work for you. I'm your advocate. I'm your assassin. I'm going to give you the honest skinny on the deal. The good, the bad, the ugly, the pros, the cons, right? My only goal is to show you everything you're getting yourself into. And then if you choose to buy it, I'll give you all the turnkey services, property management, maintenance, construction, insurance, the whole shebang. I think I said insurance twice, but insurance is important. We do insurance in all of Ohio, folks. There it is. Send us an email if you want a quote on any rental property in Ohio. Cleveland, Columbus, Toledo, Youngstown, Cincinnati. Doesn't matter. If you're a landlord, you might be paying too much. I'm going to hook you up. Also, if you got a car, a boat, an RV, a kid with a car, and you want insurance quotes on that, fuck yourself. I don't want to give them to you. I don't do that. I only do landlord insurance. Don't fucking bother my shit, okay? Don't be fucking sending leads into my thing, and I got to be like, oh, we don't do that. Just landlords, folks. All I care about is landlords. All we do, we are streamlined, sophisticated, ready to take care of landlords. All the other stuff, keep it with your State Farm agent or your Garco agent or get the Rogers right. I don't really care what you do with it. I don't want it if it ain't a rental property. But if it's a rental property, I could probably beat your current pricing. Anyway, back to you, Leo. So, Leo, me, you, on the same team, right? And, and this just goes to show, right, the last deal me and you did uh, we just backed out of it today because me and you were going over the inspection report and there was some uh, foundation issues with that property and then they I, they fixed it, right? But there's a couple ways you could fix it. You could like kind of fix it uh, and then you could fix it, fix it, right? Like, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you got an ailment and uh, you could rehab it a little bit to possibly try to avoid surgery, but maybe you should really get surgery, but, like, you might not have to, but, like, you kind of should. It was one of those kind of deals. I walked you through the pros and the cons of everything, the cost of everything, and me and you collectively determined that that wasn't going to be the deal for you. Great, cool. Guess what? Me and you, we're still a team, bro. We're going to find you the property that fits your needs. I ain't trying to just sell you a house. I'm trying to sell you the right house, okay? And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today. And I think today it might be the right one. But if it ain't, bro, just let me know. We'll keep doing this, right? Because I am on your team. Turnkey reimagined. Think about that. Now, it all starts with the deal, though. Education on the deal. That's what I'm about to do. So 
Uh, let's take a quick break, and then I'm going to get into the numbers, the market, why it makes sense, what I like about the deal, what I don't like about the deal, and then you let me know what you want to do. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now, this is where it gets interesting, right? This is where I reveal all my secrets, right? Doing a deal with only 18K. You might be thinking, dude, is this like some piece of crap? No, look at this. Oh, typo. Uh, technical difficulty. Here we go. Look at this thing, right? It's a pretty nice looking house, right? Only $18,000, folks. That's all you're going to need to do this, right? There are a lot of markets in the United States where the real estate is incredibly affordable. Conversely, there are a lot of markets in the United States where it's not, right? Think about it. Portland, L.A., all of California, all of Oregon. i from Ohio. By the way, Oregon, settle down. I understand I say Oregon incorrectly. I'm from Ohio. It's how we talk. I don't know. Chill out. Loosen up the skinny jeans, y'all. That's just how I say it. Uh, Denver, right? Very expensive in Denver. Jersey, man. Jersey. Woo! It's, it's crazy in Jersey, dude. Uh, you know, New York, right? These markets, right? It, it's almost unconscionable uh, to be a rental property investor in some of these locations, right? So that's why a lot of you guys come to Holton Wise. We find you properties like this. Properties like this. Look at this thing. It's basically turnkey. Now, here's the deal, right? This is... The listing agent's photos. This is the person who was hired by the seller to sell you all this property. It all looks great. It looks move-in ready from the pictures. But you got to understand, that's their job. Their job is to make it look as good as possible. So when we actually get in there to inspect it, is it possible there is some cosmetic reno we got to do before we could actually put a tenant in there? Yes, but from what I'm looking at, it looks pretty move-in ready to me. But again... By design, they take pictures that hide imperfections. I'm not calling them shady or anything like that. That is their job, and I would anticipate that's what they're doing. So I'm sure there's some nicks or this or that, some imperfections here or there. Uh, and by the way, this basement might look a little dingy to a lot of you guys. This is just like what a normal basement, unfinished basement, is going to look like in this region. Okay, it's not meant to be like lived in, right? It's to house that furnace and that hot water tank. Which, by the way, that hot water tank looked fairly new. Probably has maybe another five years of life expectancy. Those are running about 12 hundo right now. They usually last about 15 years. That furnace, just from the quick glance I took at it, it's probably a good 20-year-old furnace, right? It was still green. Uh, you know, that like green style that, that was, you know, might even be older, honestly, probably like 30, might be like 30, 35 years old, right? Typically, you get about a 30 year life expectancy out of furnaces. I do see them last longer. So I'll just tell you right now, based on just the fact that it had a green casing. When you actually do get the property inspected, your home inspector is going to give you a boilerplate uh, response, right? They're trying to, you know, protect their booty from liability. They're going to say something like, uh, furnace is past its useful life expectancy, recommend an HVAC technician check into it, okay? And we cut you through to BS. You don't need to do that. Look, furnaces, they cost about three to $3,500 to replace. They typically last about 30 years. Given that that one is green, I'm going to say it's over 30 years old. So anything that's over 30 years old, they're going to say that no matter what. Right? Pat's is useful life expectancy. Have an HVAC tech look into it. You don't need to have an HVAC tech look into it, folks. Let me cut this for you. Let me, let me break it down. It's past its useful life. It works right now. The day it stops working, you're going to spend $3,000 to $3,500 to get a new one because it's more than 30 years old. Okay? That's it. That's all you got to do. Think about it like that, okay? You wouldn't spend any money trying to fix it up because it's already too old. You're just going to have to keep fixing it, right? So know that you're on borrowed time. If we're playing baseball, you're in like the 11th inning, right? We're in extra innings on that thing, right? So it works today, but know that sometime soon it's going down, folks, because we are in OT, okay? Sudden death. So that's that. But other than that, it's pretty darn turnkey, right? Looks pretty good. That's what you guys get when you work with Holton Wise. We put you into markets, into properties, into stuff like this, right? This particular property, it's located in a little place called Lorraine, Ohio. It's in the Cleveland, Ohio market. It's about 30 minutes west, all right? 
2437 East 29th Street, Lorraine, okay? Feel free to Google it. Feel free to check my facts. Feel free to check comps. Do what you got to do, man. Do your due diligence, right? This is what I consider to be about a C-grade neighborhood. Now, if you don't know what I mean when I see, say C-grade neighborhood, I want you to check the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. You can Google it, and guess what? It's in the show notes below. It's also on HoltonWise.com on the tools and resource section. Just a nice little blue-collar area, right? You're getting, like, lower-income tenants, some Section 8 tenants in there, and you get pri great price-to-rent ratios, right? This one? 75k that's what they want for it 75k we got to give them 75k i think a lot of people are going to want this right because why the numbers make sense we're going to be able to rent this thing to a cash paying tenant or a section 8 tenant i honestly prefer a section 8 uh dude nothing better than government guaranteed money right you lose your job you're on section 8 don't matter rent's paid baby covid hits you can't go to work don't matter rent's paid baby i mean dude freaking you end up in a drug deal with Hunter Biden, stuff goes wrong, you got to go to jail for a little bit, doesn't matter, rent's paid, baby. All right, one more. You're hired to fix laptops and Hunter Biden <laughs> sends you his laptop and you discover all types of crazy government secrets and the Killitons have your family murdered, doesn't matter, rent's paid, baby. You know what I'm saying, okay? The moral of the story is bad stuff happens to tenants sometimes and then they can't pay their rent. When you go Section 8, you don't have to deal with that, right? Think about it, okay? So 1095, you could go cash, but again, I prefer Section 8. Now, what that would look like, at the end of the year, after paying my team to handle all the property management, you're looking at about 7000 in net profit. Now, this is where it gets good, right? You only put down eighteen grand, right? Eighteen seven fifty. We get a lender to kick in the other fifty six two fifty for you. If you don't have lenders, don't worry. Shoot my folks an email. We'll get you our list of lenders, right? We got lenders in all 50 states. We got hard money lenders, non-traditional lenders. We got lenders who will lend to Canadians, even the truckers, right? Even the truckers shutting down Canada. We get them loans too, baby. Woo! Anyway. Uh, oh, that could be another one, right? Your tenant ends up stuck in a Canadian trucker barricade and they can't work to get in to pay the rent. Don't matter. The government's guaranteeing the rent. See? See how great Section 8 is? Anywho. So you put down 18000 the bank kicks in 56 That would net out to a 23% return. My team will do all the on-the-ground work for you, the property management, the maintenance, the construction, the insurance. We insure all rental properties throughout the state of Ohio. So if you're watching the show and you got a house in Cincinnati and you think friggin' Geico or friggin' State Farm is charging you too much, yo, have us give you a free quote. Now, what I don't want you to do, though, is be like, hey, hey, James, can you insure my car? No! We cannot insure your car. What about your kid's car? No! I don't want to talk to your fucking kid! All we do is insure rental properties. I don't dick around with none of that other stuff. No RVs, no boats, no cars. No owner-occupied homes. Your rental properties, that is what we do. We broker these with many providers to get you the best rate for real estate investors. All that other business, keep that with your current guy. I don't want it. But... I am an expert in helping landlords, so if you want lower landlord insurance, let your boy JYs know. Anywhere in Ohio, I will get you taken care of. You can uh, fill out the form to get a free quote below, right? So this property, moral of the story, I like the neighborhood. Uh, in addition, right, this area, Lorraine, getting two new naval bases, okay? Uh, those are expected to bring a ton of jobs, like thousands of jobs, right? So uh, all told... Uh, very, very safe investment. I think this one is a home run. Let me know if you want to do the deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.